Hey guys, this is Subhashish. Today we will study how to send POST request through JSON string data and through an external file. Let's validate a POST API. For uh, POST API, we need a uh, series. Here, we don't need a, let's send it. So, we are getting 201. So, what will validate here? Param, query params is not required then we need a body we need to send a body all other things remain same so for that let's create a new class new class we'll name it as post api we'll have the main method so let's copy from here we'll copy from the get api I'm pasting it here. Let's uncomment this. We're getting some errors. Why this? We have to do the static import. Let's import all these things. Okay. You can do this fine so now i told right you don't need query parameter here we can remove this given then we have the authorization then header we have content type we have then when then we have the post method so we change it to post method again for post method we need a body dot body in body you can send it as input stream you can send as a string let's send as a string for now okay so let's define a string uh, we'll name it as payload so what we need to pass here you can copy you need to pass this string copy this and paste it here okay so let me put it into a single line and we need to put as it is a string we need to put it into double quote clear okay if you are putting anything inside double quote in java there is basically an escape sequence we can resolve it by writing a backslash like this yes it's resolved now what you can do is copy this and paste it here so you are sending the payload oh we have defined it outside of the main method put it inside the main method fine let's run it it is failing Let's see why here it is expecting 200 but we have given 201 for post here in postman you can see the status code is 201 so what we need to do here we need to pass it as 201 similarly what is there in the body we have to validate name so copy this and validate same things name then you have to validate job job is this now let's execute okay uh, it's getting executed so let me show you the response we 
will store it in response post response equal to now we will remove all these things import fine let's print the response You have to pass is add string. Run as Java application. So you can see the response now. Okay. Similarly, we can print the status code. See here you can see the status code as 201. Okay, so uh, you can see right here whenever we are passing as a string, it is bit difficult and complicated. So same thing you can pass it as a map also. Let's use the hash map. Map equal to let's use the hash map we are taking string and string So now what you can do is map dot put both the string values you can put. So key you can put as name and value you can put as this. Similarly you can put the second one which is job and later now we can use this map so earlier we are using the string now we, in place of string we can use map let's execute it so there is some error what is that let's see cannot serialize object because no json serializer found okay let's we have to add a dependency go to maven go to jackson data bind here you can take the maven dependency go to your project form file form.xml then what you can do is add a one more dependency and then build your project now let's execute it
see now you can see the result you can do one more thing also you can add log dot all so what it will do let me show you let's execute so it will give you what is the request method what is the uri you passed what is the proxy what is the request parameter query parameter what is the header you passed what are the cookies you used what is the body we used then we saw the response and the status code these two things we are anyway printing now let's see how to send a post request using an external file so for that first we will create an external file new file will give name as payload dot json okay so it will create inside your root directory now open that file you can open with the text editor so it will open it in your eclipse what we will do is we will copy our body this is the body which we are passing copy it here save the file that's all now we will send it through our post api so here is the post api what we will do here if you will see earlier we are sending map so now what you need to do here you don't have to send the map you have to send this payload so for that what you can do you can write something like this new file then you have to give the path so your file is located in root directory for that what you can do is you can give a dot and backslash to access it and then you can give your file name which is payload dot json and save it you can import this file fine now execute it see you are getting the same result and your json file we are reading data from this json file so this is also one way to send your payload. Thank you. Please like, share and subscribe my channel.